Hello, my name is Junho Lee from Korea University. The title of my presentation is Role of Hydrogen Gas in Blast Furnace Operation Improved Wettability of Carbon by Molten Slag. The co authors are Jun Seok Ho, my former student, Min Tae Kim, master student, Dereze Degepa Jaleta, my PhD student. Okay, let me start it from the introduction. In order to reduce the CO2 emission from iron making and steel making industries, great efforts have been made through industry and academia collaborations. CoolStar is a national project to reduce the CO2 emission from iron making and steel making industries of South Korea by means of hydrogen enriched process in the blast furnace operation as well as in the electric arc furnace operation as hydrogen is introduced in a blast furnace operation slag chemistries in the coercive john and in the dripping john can be different from those in the conventional blast furnace especially Slag holdup is greatly affected by the slag chemistry resulting in gas flow pattern and heat transfer. Recently, we have investigated the formation of SIC whiskers on the surface of graphite substrate as COH2SiO gas mixture was exposed. SIC is generally formed nearby the raceway due to the chemical reaction between SiO gas and carbon in the coke. In a conventional iron making atmosphere, a SIC layer is generally formed on the coke surface. From the findings of SIC whisker formation, it is speculated that the SIC formation would affect the wettability of Morton slag, yielding variation of slag holdup. So, in this study, the effect of SIC whisker on the wettability of Morton slag is examined, and the effect of the SIC formation on the slag holdup will be discussed. Okay, this is the high temperature experimental results, which as we have reported in 2014. The static holdup of liquid slag in carbonous beds at high temperatures was studied using lab scale experiments. The effects of particle size, type of carbonous materials, and slag composition on the static holdup of liquid slag were investigated. Actually, if you investigate the slag holdup in the carbonous bed, well, once you supply liquid into the bed, then the drain can be measured simultaneously. Once the supply curves and the drain curves are identical uh, state, then the total holdup volume will be obtained. Once you stop the supply of the liquid, then the drain will be stabilized at a certain extent, and the difference between the supply and the drain would be the static holdup. So once you extract the static holdup from the total holdup, dynamic holdup volume can be evaluated. Right hand side is the simulation results as well as the experimental results are plotted all together. The static holdup of liquid slag in carbonous beds at high temperatures was different from the water model-based prediction results for 
small particles. The present simulation results, on the other hand, agreed well with the high temperature experimental result. From these findings, we could conclude that the dynamic holdup, which was estimated from the simulation work, can be acceptable. Next one is the wetting test. Left hand side, the experimental schematic is illustrated. Three different types of graphite substrates were prepared in advance. The first one is graphite with no SIC coating. And the second, graphite with SIC layer on the surface. And number three is graphite with SIC whisker on the surface. For the wetting experiments, slag sample with a typical composition shown in the table was prepared. A slag sample of 40 milligrams placed on a substrate was introduced in the center of an alumina tube in a horizontal furnace at 1773 Kelvin under argon atmosphere. Change of the contact angle is monitored with a CCD camera. After experiments, the sample was investigated with SEM. So right hand side, you can see the changes of the wetting of three different substrates. At the bottom, you can see that the change of the contact angle as a function of time. If you see that the graphite substrate, the contact angle was very high. On the other hand, once the SIC is formed on the surface, the contact angle suddenly decreased down to 10 or 20 degrees. Right corner, you can see that the top view of the molten slag after experiments. Once we have SIC coating layer on the surface, the molten slag is just simply spread in all directions identically. On the other hand, once the SIC was formed on the surface, the slag was spread non-uniform, which means that the structure of the silicon carbide whiskers may affect the wetting behavior. Next, we will see the simulation. Numerical model is explained. The motion of coke particles was monitored by DEM commercial software and fluid flow was conducted using CFD commercial software. Six layers of Schreker particles with sizes of 8, 10, and 12 millimeter were in the packet bed, and each layer consisted of 64, 37, and 37 particles respectively. The simulation temperature was set to be 1723 Kelvin. In the DM simulation, Newton's translational and rotational law of motion and Hertz Mendelin's no slip contact model were utilized. In the CFD simulation, Navier Stokes and continuity equations were applied to govern the flow phenomena. The surface tension force F in the VOF model is computed. The implicit uh, method of improved high resolution interface capturing was implemented in the BOF model. All phases were assumed to be incompressible and had an isosomer transient flow with no mass transfer between any components. The supply of slag was maintained at a steady state of 5 mm per second in the inlet tubes under a pressure of 101 2.235 kilopascal. 
to estimate the effect of the silicon carbide formation on the coke surface, the contact angle was varied as follows, 10, 20, 60, and 118 degrees. Physical properties used in this calculation are shown on the right-hand side table. Well, in this diagram, the effects of contact angle on slick flow motion are shown. The left-hand side is the when the contact angle is 10 degree. Right-hand side is the when the contact angle is 118 degrees. For poor wetting conditions, namely when the contact angle is 118 degree, when the liquid slag moves down, the gravitational force acting on the liquid in the void should exceed the capillary force in the vicinity of the particles. On the contrary, for the wetting condition, when the contact angle is 10 degree, the liquid slag easily imbibed into the next voids because the capillary force would help the downward motion of the liquid slag. In this slide, the effects of the contact angle and size on particle on slag order is discussed. Right hand side, you can see that the accumulated volume as a function of time. The black curve indicates the slag supply curve, while the red, green, violet, and blue curves indicate the slag drainage curves for contact angles of 10, 20, 60, and 118 degrees, respectively. In the segment where the drainage and the supply curves are parallel, the vertical gap between these curves correspond to the total holdup. The improved wettability, which means contact angles in the range of 10 to 20 degree, due to the coating of the coke surface with SIC, may result in a decrease in total holdup in the packet bed. As the holdup decreases due to the improved wettability, gas and the liquid permeabilities and the blast furnace efficiency will increase in the cohesive and dripping parts of the blast furnace. In addition, as the holdup increases due to poor wettability, the average residence time of liquid slag in the fixed bed will increase. This slide shows you the effects of contact angle and size of particles on slag holdup. And A is the static holdup, B is dynamic holdup, and C is the total holdup. For the investigate diameters, the static and total holdups gradually increase with the contact angle. When the contact angle reaches 60 degree, the holdups stabilize and the measurements at the contact angles of 60 and 118 degree are nearly the same. On the contrary, the dynamic holdup exhibits large deviations, particularly at low contact angles. Nevertheless, the dynamic holdup is relatively small compared to the total holdup. Consequently, in blast furnace operation, total holdup is mostly affected by static holdup, and the contribution of dynamic holdup is considered to be less important because the superficial velocities of both metal and slag are significantly low. This diagram shows the effect of contact angle on velocity distribution. Left-hand side is the 10 degrees reserve, and right-hand side is the 118 degrees reserve. A high slag velocity was observed on the worst side in both cases. A careful observation of the color scale, scale 
revealed that slag flows faster with a lower contact angle than that of a higher contact angle. As the wettability increases, the liquid spontaneously spreads more easily along the solid surface. Therefore, we can expect the increased velocity for wetting condition. This diagram shows you the simulation results on empirical correlations of static order as a function of the modified capillary number. The static holdup at low contact angles, namely 10 and 20 degrees, was determined to be smaller than that uh, at higher contact angles, when the capillary number was smaller than 10 to the second order. There was no significant difference in the static holdup when the capillary number was greater than 10 to the second order. The results of the static order at the contact angle is 10 degree sufficiently agree with the correlations proposed by Kawabata et al. And those at 20 degree agreed with those reported by Fukudake and Rajakumar and Chu et al. The static order for higher contact angles can be determined using Zhang's equation. The, modified, uh, the modification of the static order by wettability is due to the capillary force between the liquid slag and the packet bed of particles. As the particle size decreased, the effect of the capillary force became more significant. This figure shows you empirical relations of dynamic holdup. The analysis results for the dynamic holdup are higher than those reported by Kawabata et al. and Bando et al. and lower than those proposed by Fukudake et al. and Sugiyama et al. The current simulation results sufficiently agree with the correlation suggested by Otake and Okada. Well, here you can see that uh, there is a less a significant effect on the dynamic holdup from the modified Kaplan number. Well, now we will conclude with this conclusion. In this study, the following results were obtained from the simulation of slag holdup in a fixed bed of carbonous materials using three-dimensional DMCFD coupling modeling based on the wettability test of carbonous materials by liquid slag. First, the wetting behavior of molten slag on graphite substrates with and without SIC was investigated. With SIC coating, the wettability of the graphite substrate by molten slag was enhanced. On the other hand, when SIC whiskers were formed on the surface of graphite substrate, the wettability was further developed. The contact angle was determined to be an inferential factor for the static order. For each particle size in the lower cap modified capillary number reason, the static and the total holdups increased with the contact angle. At each contact angle, the static and total holdups decreased with an increase in the particle size. Consequently, it is considered that the slag holdup in the blast furnace would be considerably decreased by the formation of SIC whiskers, which might be accelerated by introducing hydrogen gas in the blast furnace operation. Finally, this work was supported by the Industrial Strategy Technology Development Program 
funded by Ministry of Trade and Industry Energy of Korea. Thank you very much for your kind attention.